Okay, this is Wally here on the uh, Peculiar Character Channel. I'm reporting on the news, and here it is, right here. That is the Channel 12 news truck. Been sitting there in that loading zone for all the time I wanted to park there. Now they're leaving. Look at that. I don't know what was going on around here, but they have been covering the news themselves. That's what I'm doing, just covering the people that cover the news. So I got uh, a new news channel now. I'll have to work that into my scheme of events. I'm not sure just why. There they go. Don't be looking at me, driver of that truck. I'll tell you what. He's already got a job because he can't have mine. You know what I mean? Well, I should be going somewhere. Let me think. Where am I going? I don't know. How do you tell? Look at that. If you look down there, you'll see the Channel 8 news truck is right there, too. So I have now covered the news. And Scarly Franklet. I don't care. Well, that's interesting. Lady's got a run in her stocking. Well, that's kind of sad for me to be taking pictures of it. I had a scare a few minutes ago, though. There was a uh, guy in a Channel 12 news truck. looking at me taking pictures of him when I was doing the coverage of the news covering the news and uh, <clears throat> I had a thought what if he would have looked at me and said uh, hey let's put this guy on the news for vlogging in his truck I tell you what, a thing like that could change a life like mine, you know. I don't think I would have been made famous in any kind of a positive way, but I have made a discovery in my life already at the ripe, young, tender age of whatever it is I am. I'm too old to remember sometimes, but I have discovered that intelligent people are, in fact, just people rich people now they are just people too but beautiful people they're just people they really are there's nothing special about really any of us if you find somebody who I met, recently encountered a woman at our church who was going around doing a ministry and in, in the process I learned that she was one of the 40 or so women in the world who could sing opera the way she does. But boy was she just down to earth. She had some great things to say. She did a little singing too, and I appreciated that. But it was kind of interesting to just to think it all through. She's not something other than a person, even if she's that special. She's still one of us. I kind of liked that. She actually called herself a uh, a Walmart diva. She's got a website. <coughs> I'll have to look that up. I'll try to find that and put it in the uh, whatever it is down there. She's got a great, great outlook and a great intellect. She's very smart too. But she's still just a person. Isn't that interesting?
Look at this. Suns are shining. It's a beautiful day. I'm starting to have fun. And I ain't even home yet. I'm just driving home from work. It's nice. I tell you what. People who don't live in Oregon, they have no idea how blessed it is to have a sunny day when you get one. I believe that the joy that we all feel on a day like this, after months and months of gray, cloudy, rainy skies, may well outweigh living in Southern California for total joy achieved. Granted, it's not as constant, but what happens when you live in Southern Cal is you, you just take the weather for granted and you forget about it. If it does something you don't like, you complain, but most of the time you just ignore it and do other things, I think. I spent a little time down there one time and I ended up getting bored with the weather because it never changed. Look at that thing. We must be having a party. I thought I was just going across the bridge. Huh. Well. We're doing that too. Yeah, it's time to go driving again. I should have named my vlog Driving with Wally. Let's see if I can get this company van on the freeway here. Here we go. They let me in. Must be a loophole in human nature. By some loophole in human nature, I was allowed to enter the freeway today in the early afternoon. Windows are dirty. Let's wash these things. There, that's better. Let's look at this. Big old water tower surrounded by trees. Red one's on the right, green one's on the left. It's pretty. Not the water tower, the trees for heaven's sake. You know, I was just telling God what a knothead I am. He knows it already, but I thought he'd appreciate having me realize it finally. I do so many things that are wrong from, from God's perspective. It's got to be pathetic. That statement in the Bible about our righteousness being like filthy rags, that's, that's got to be an understatement. It's like, all I do is complain and cast aspersions and judge people. I'm cooking my own goose. The Bible also says that as you judge, so will you be judged. I can't afford to be judged this harshly. I need to leave people alone. Look at them birds and clouds and everything. It's beautiful. Why would you focus on something you needed to complain about with all this beautiful stuff around? 